Okay, what I'm going to show you now is the optimal way to pack this. I folded it down, I took the wheels off, took the rear wheel off, I took the front wheels off, put the kingpins back in, tightened up the, the nut a little bit so the kingpin can't come out, and now we've got everything ready to go where I'm going to start packing it. Okay? First thing I'm going to do is wrap these clevis joints with a piece of foam and one tie. One on that side. One on this side. All right. You notice that the, the trailing arms at the front end have already been wrapped. I didn't take those off. Next thing I'm doing is going to put two pieces on here to pad that. And, and you'll also notice that I have this front end hanging off the box so that these don't come in contact with that. I've got plenty of room to work up here. There's one foam piece there. Wrap around that. I'm going to put a piece of foam over top of this. And this requires two pieces. Two together, set over top of that. We'll tie them with two wraps there and there, and that protects the whole front end. Cable, the, the shifter cables, anything inside the wraps, the, the tie wraps or the zip ties, they all stay separate. This sits right on top of that bracket there, and that protects this front end. Okay, now two wraps around each one of these. There's a double right there. That goes on here. Double on the other side. That goes on right here. I'm going to tuck that right underneath that front end like this. Now I'm going to take a piece of tape and hold these on. I'll rotate around like this so I can get a good, make that nice and tight there. Slide that on like that. around like this, tie this one on, like that, this now slides underneath that front end, All right? Now, to protect the front end, and here I'm putting one piece of foam like that, and wrap a zip tie around this. on that bumper. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this back up onto the box, slide this back like that. Now these things are all set and I can start installing the rear the front wheels. Okay, this front wheel already has the brake cable attached. It's going to sit like this. And we're going to put a, a padding on either side. Okay. 
cable sits on top. Okay, let's go get a couple of doubles. Okay, two doubles here are going to fit around this tire and go all the way down to where it protects this tire and this wheel from the foot platform from behind. I'm going to shove this forward a little bit. I'm going to lift this up and then we're going to put this cable all around here and strap everything together. So it's going to go through here, like this, all the way around. Okay, it straps this here, the table, the, the tire, the rod end, everything's secured, and this padding is going to protect this down here. Another tie around this front end right here. Right around the foam again. And it ties the tire onto the front end. Okay. Cable ties have to be tight. All right, same thing for the other side. A double around the side of the tire all the way down to where it covers up, it's up so it won't touch this the aluminum frame of the of the foot platform. Lift this up. And our cable tie through the whole thing. Everything positioned right. Tie this tight. Okay, that's held in place. This is held in place and that can't move. Another tie around the front wheel. Tie it again onto the onto the foam piece. Like that. And now a cable tie around this top. Oops. To hold these two tires together. And tires have to be inflated for this to work. Alright, now the front end is completely solid. There's space in here so that so the hubs aren't right against these. I can get my fingers in there. This is all protected back in here, and the tires can't move. Alright? Now we go to the back. First thing I'm going to do is I made a double one of these, folded over, that slides over the end of this and gets tight. All right. Now I'm going to lift this up in the back here so I can put a couple other pieces on. So I'm going to brace this up to you like this and now I'm going to tackle the chain Onto the onto the chain ring. So this piece here slips up underneath. There's a piece of foam, but it also has a plastic backing to it. One zip tie goes around the whole thing. Like this out the other side. So the chain is held tight. to the chain ring. Okay. I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to slide it up here. It's going to cover up this chain stay. It's also going to cover up the cable. The cable is going to be back here. This cable is all the way in because the, the twist grip shifter here is in gear number eight. Okay, it's in as far as it can go. So this piece of foam is going to go underneath the brake. I'm going to go to the back, wrap around the cable, wrap around the entire chain stay, like this. Okay, and now we're going to tie that chain to the foam. 
I'm going to pull the chain tight from top and bottom. I'm going to tie it first at one point. Pull it tight. It can't come off of this. It's nice and tight. And then we're going to wrap the chain up onto itself. A couple of loops. And put one more tie around it here against the foam. Okay, chain can't move, it won't come off. It's nice and tight. Alright. Lift this up and position it right there to hold that back end up. And now we're going to put the. Where is that? Uh, shoot, where's that packing thing? And it goes on the back brace. 